The fourth use case is all about percent of total. If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. I will put up a link in the card above and description down below. Let's just have a refresher of how percent of total works with table calculations. So for example, if we bring over region and we display the sales, so drag sales onto text. Let's go to the analytics tab and add the total. So double click on totals, go back to our data tab. And in here we can add the table calculation for our sum of sales. So on the drop down, quick table calculation, percent of total. Now let's add back the original number by double clicking on sales again. And as a final step, let us add a filter for region. So on the drop down, show filter. So what we're seeing in here is our grand total sales is about 2.297 million. And if we take a look at the breakdown of the proportion, we can see a couple that's about 20%. West is the biggest for about 30%. And the least is about 17% for South. But notice what's going to happen in here once we start filtering out some dimension values. If we uncheck West and South, all of a sudden, what happens is the remaining regions now take up the 100%. And this is how table calculations work. But in some cases, or in some instances, we don't want this behavior. Perhaps what we want to do is to keep the original percent of total that it has prior to the filter, basically taking this value and dividing it against our grand total, regardless of what we do in the filter. This is where fixed level of detail expressions will help. So let's clear this worksheet and let us start by creating two fixed level of detail expressions, a grand total and a subtotal by region. So on the drop down, create calculated field. Let's call this grand total and this is fixed. So curly brace, we have fixed. We don't have any dimensions for the grand total. So we simply have a colon and our aggregation is sum of sales. Now for cases like this, for grand totals and grand amounts, since we don't have a dimension list, we can do away with the fixed keyword as well as the colon. And this is what we call our table scoped level of detail expressions. So let's take this out and simply click OK. Let's create another calculated field. And this is going to be subtotal by region. And this is going to be fixed by region and it's going to be sum of sales and click OK. Now let's create our map. So in our map, we're simply going to display this by state. Perhaps we want a color by region. So drag region to color and let's change the mark to a map instead of a circle. Now let's add to our canvas three calculated fields, sales, grand total, as well as subtotal by region. So we have sales, we have subtotal by region, as well as grand total. Once we have these in place, it is easy for us to do the calculations that we need because what's left for us to calculate is the sales divided by the grand total and the sales divided by subtotal by region. So let's add those. So on the drop down, create calculated field. We're going to call this percent of grand total. And in here, this is simply our sum of sales divided by our grand total. Once we click OK, let's change the formatting, right click, default properties, number format, and this is a percentage. And let's add it to our view as well as, so in this case, we can simply duplicate that percent of grand total, right click, duplicate, and edit this calculation. And this is going to be percent of region total. So in this case, we're simply going to change our divisor. So instead of the grand total, this has to be the region total. So drag that over and let's actually add that to our canvas. So as we hover over, we should be able to see our calculations. Now let's pick California. Let's right click California right now. Let's annotate this, annotate the mark because we want to display the values. Let's format this a little bit. Now let's just notice what's going to happen to these totals and the percent values if we add filters. For example, if we add a filter for segment, so right click, show the filter, and let's say we only want to leave consumer. So which means we are going to uncheck home office and corporate, but we should notice that these values shouldn't change. Only the sales value should change. So uncheck home office, 
uncheck corporate, and the values are still maintained. Let's add all the segments back in. As a final note, for the grand total or any of these numbers, it is possible for us to consider the other types of level of detail expressions. In this case, we could consider an exclude. For example, we can create a calculated field, so create calculated field, and then here we're going to call this grand total, and we're going to use an exclude. So instead of fixed, we're going to have our curly brace. It's going to be an exclude. And if we exclude region, comma, as well as state, and if all we're maintaining is the sum of sales, so drag that over, close the curly brace, this should give us our grand total as well. So drag that over. Let's display that in our tooltip. Let's just remove our annotation first. So let's take a look at California again. So we can see in here, grand total using an exclude and grand total using fixed, they are the same. They are going to start to differ, however, with our dimension filters. So in here, if, for example, we uncheck home office and uncheck corporate, having a filter will affect our exclude number. So let's take a look at the tooltip again. And we can see in here that fixed is not affected by our dimension filters, but exclude is affected.